Okay, team. So, after the recent discovery of this four um thing we apparently have, I started looking through some of the suggestions and I actually found a very, very profitable one. But what about the suggestion to nerf Rat so it's not such a constant horror in the sewer? Oh, I mean arena. Nah, no way, mate. Rat's one of our boost mascots. Like, would you nerf the cigarette smoking camel? But... Didn't they make that illegal because they were selling the idea of smoking to children using cartoon characters? Wait, that's illegal now? Damn, another good idea down the drain. Anyway, shut up for a second. You know how we recently nerfed crit, right, so that we can sell crit boosts in the future? And then we nerfed rat swapping so it doesn't bypass armor anymore? So then we can start selling armor boosts? Oh yeah, mate, that idea was as brilliant as it is sickening. Well, when these armor boosts infest the arena, right, and every single dinosaur has armor, you know what we can do? What? Ah, I'm glad you asked, mate. You see, with the arena now infested with rats and dinosaurs in general with armor, players will be badly needing a way to combat all this increased armor. But couldn't players just not use armor boosts and just use tanks like Dio and Trico instead of paying? Yeah, mate, we already found a solution to that problem. All we had to do was make Anki only dartable one day a week on Sundays, so then no one can unlock them, and pretty much have to buy armor boosts. Anyway, once we've flooded the arena with all these armor boosts, the players will be absolutely screaming for a way to combat all these new armored dinosaurs. And we've actually thought of a profitable solution to our own problem. We can actually then start selling armor-piercing boosts. That way, any dinosaur that has armor-piercing boosts applied to them will be able to completely negate the armor boosts. But won't they just make all that armor boosts that we just sold pointless? Yeah, mate, but that's not really going to affect us. See, by that time, we'll have already made all the money off the armor boosts. So it doesn't even matter. Ah, good point. Anyway, I was checking out the forums for the first time today, and I noticed a ton of members have been calling us incompetent for all our constant stuff ups and lack of fixing non-profitable bugs and such. So should we start replying to them? Nah mate, as my teacher used to say, it's better to say nothing and let them assume you're an idiot rather than open your mouth and remove all doubt. 